Today I'm going to replace my front brake pads and rotors on my 2009 Yaris. I uh, got my jack and my tire iron, the new rotors, uh, two sets of brake pads, uh, brake cleaner, C clamp, slow glide, 14 mm and 19 mm sockets. First step is to loosen the lug nuts. See, then you jack up the car. Do it right. Do it right there. Make sure you turn your steering wheel so these are easier to access. Finally broke this bolt here and this bolt here loose. Alright, with some force this part just slides off. Now you don't want to let that hang by the brake line, so that's why I got this milk crate here. Gotta do this one and that one. Alright, time to undo these 17 millimeter bolts. Yeah, I sprayed these with some WD-40 the day before. It's not a bad idea. I uh, had to get my milk crate out of the way for the other one. There it goes. I can take that bracket off and get the rotor off. See, actually, I just pulled off the rotor with the bracket. Now the bracket it can just slide off. And this is what my old rotor looked like. I don't know, this side's not too bad, but this other side, uh, I sprayed some uh, brake cleaner on there to get any grease off from the factory. Remember to do both sides. Alright, I put a, a new rotor on there and use the lug nut to hold it in place. Alright, now time to replace the brake pads here. I hammered the first one out. Just like that. See, don't be like me. I forgot to put the grease on there so it can slide back and forth. You can take this squealer tab here, take it off the old one. Put it on the new one. I slid the first brake pad into place. Had a fight with it a little bit, but I got them in there. With the new brake pads in, I just slid that back over the new rotor. And then you can put those two uh, bolts back in. 
Got the uh, caliper bracket back on. Now we have to push in the caliper piston. I use that. I use the C clamp to push that flush. I got the caliper back in place, and I just put those two bolts back in. All right, got those two bolts back in. Now I just put the wheel back on and do the other side. Got the wheel back on. Don't forget to tighten the lug nuts so that the wheel doesn't fall off. Also, after finishing both sides, you want to check the brake fluid to make sure it's between the min and the max. You can see the max there. The min's uh, quite a bit lower. We're in a good range here. Uh, the last step is to pump the brakes a couple of times till they get hard because you move the piston and the caliper. And then you should be done, ready to go. If women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. <laughs>